Hey guys, just wanted to do a uh, video on a short project that I am <clears throat> taking the lead on for my brother. He asked me to help him make something cool. And my brother works at an auto auction and he is able to acquire this 93 short bed here. Uh, very clean truck. Uh, looks like it was an older person that probably owned this. I mean, it's... Uh, Got foam pad and everything in it. I mean, it's gorgeous. For a 93, it's perfect. He wanted to do something exotic, so I got involved. And we're doing a homebrew LQ4 transplant turbo. And I've been busy, as you can tell. So I found this engine form, uh, O2 Silverado 2500 HD. Found a good motor. Tore it all down. Um, I can't leave anything alone, so we completely rebuilt it. Didn't even need it, but I tore it all down. I mean, I say rebuilt it completely. I mean, we didn't change, uh, we didn't have to grind the crank or anything like that, but new rod bearings, new main bearings, new piston rings, file fitted for a little bit of boost and um, valve job. And when I say valve job, I hand lap everything. I just lapped them in and then I vacuum test them and they're, they're as good as new. Um, all put back together with good, good stuff. <clears throat> These are... Um, this is a Gen 3. It's not a Gen 4. It doesn't have dimple rods. So, but it is a lower compression LQ4 instead of the LQ9 that comes in your Escalade and things like that. So it'll handle a little bit of boost. But again, this is not going to be radical. This is going to be a 10 pounds of boost max type uh, truck just to get uh, to get crazy. We've um, went junkyard hunting. Found a... We got ourselves a... 93 for a lady out of a one ton service truck that has uh, rebuilt dates on it as uh, 2013 and it was wrecked and mangled so we stole that paid 180 bucks for that and the harness has already been adapted and corrected it'll plug and play with our our um our harness we got over here which still has to be modified and everything else done there but that's uh, O2, the O2 Silverado harness that will run a 4L80. It's already got the connectors. You can make a 4L60 harness run a 4L80, but you'd need a 4L80 uh, original computer to run them, I believe. Anyway, so we went with a pair of um, eBay specials. They're, they look adequate. They fortunately fit. As we found out, a few things didn't fit, but these are just uh, 200, you know, 200 buck eBay Ford headers we we i have exhaust manifolds we were going to go the exhaust manifold route but we decided to go this route because they fit they fit well so we've got that there um and then we have uh had this very basic hot side fabricated with an underslung turbo on it so we've got both these slipping down to an underslung this is my uh donated on 370 that you've seen in my other um other videos on my uh, Fox body. I repurposed it. It ran and ran and ran and ran and never I've got hundreds of passes on this turbo and it's still fine So again, it's just a stock on 370 journal bearing But 10 pounds on this this should be able to feed that with 10 pounds and I'm looking for 500 out of that Wheel we'll see what we get But the uh, junkyard LS build up here LS copy build up. It's an LQ4 but, and now <clears throat> I ran into a little bit of a snag here. Uh, by the way, I love the uh, under underslung look of the uh, turbo mount. I just think it looks really cool. So we've got room for our, our four inch, I'm sorry, three inch to come right around here and underneath this and out and under, that's not gonna be an issue there at all. But uh, putting in a wastegate, um, that's my what I've been working on this morning and I've developed this you can see I've got it mocked up here intact I've uh, took a u-bend I had a u and I cut it out and very carefully put them together and I'm gonna put my brothers and he doesn't have a welder um, that I would typically use so I already burned a hole there I got to patch that up but his friend let him borrow the overkill oh it's the Trailblazer generator with the suitcase welder 
yeah so anyway that's what i've got to work with right now to attack and stuff and i've got to fine tune that to to lay these beads down when i get ready to seam it all up later but as you can see here i have mocked this up for my wastegate here and taking a lot of time to kind of try to get the angles as close as i can and that's going to plug on right there just like that and i've got them fitted really 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 tight they're right there so i'm not going to open up the, the lower pipes that big there's no need to i'm just going to open up probably something like that on both sides um, the problem i was running into is getting directional flow for the wastegate i didn't want any boost creep um, so I decided to engineer this piece here that would, uh, a lot of times you will see, a lot of guys will just put a bung right here. And the way that I had a, an exhaust guy bend these, I didn't have, um, I didn't, I, he just welded it up yesterday. I would have done a little different. I would have stacked them taller and out. So I had room to put the bung right there, but I don't. So uh, instead of just, if I put the wastegate just hanging off one pipe over here, it might be adequate, but I don't know. Um, because it, to bleed off this, this side over here uh, under boost, it's got to overcome the directional flow flowing into the turbo and backwards back up there to relief. And I don't know under hard, you know, under hard boost if uh, that thing's going to keep spooling on, on, three, on three liters of uh, cubic inches there. This is a 6.0, so I have decided to make this device and this will take some a little bit of directional flow from both and feed it up and I've already got the uh, v-band the small little v-band inside there tacked you can see the v-band uh, that I've tacked to it and that there will adequately relieve both banks into my uh, blow off valve here I'm sorry wastegate here and then we can clock this whichever way we want because it's obviously spins on the v-band That'll drop down right down there and connect in farther down to the uh, three inch down piping out that uh, we'll um, fabricate a little bit later. But that'll make it nice and quiet when it goes into. Got a fly landing on me. Sorry, it's driving me nuts. Count on a fly to land on me when you're trying to make a video. Anyway, so that'll make it nice and quiet when you're going down the road, not trying to uh, be super loud when you're going over your uh, over boost my other car just dumps the atmosphere when the wastegate opens and it's just incredibly loud and but I mean it's kind of cool but it gets old really quick that's what uh, electric cutouts are for which we've got one for this one as well we'll run a, a, a three inch electric cutout on this for fun when needed but you can see the room that I've got here that I engineered I've got the belt on here for mock-up this is uh, just enough room to slide a belt under that's where I set it up and so we'll run our we easily have our air cleaner they'll go right there no big deal and then we'll have a boost that'll come up and we're not gonna go right into there we're gonna bring it up and over into here into a small water to air and then back over and in and we'll run the water to air here um, and then we'll have a small storage tank up here and then a small radiator or heat exchanger if you want to call it the small Radiator type they look more like a transmission cooler than anything but up in front and Then a water pump assembly here down here. I've, I've mocked one of these up before so um, that'll That'll circulate the water to air box that just there's not a lot of room for an intercooler a typical bar you know the typical big plate air to air intercooler that you run on these or on other stuff so i'm just decided that you can get them for 150 bucks for the water to air now given i have to get a few other components to make it work but we'll do that and once this is all piped in then it's just tying this into this truck but this truck should be a monster um i can't imagine this uh you know, people have said I'll oh, put a stall in it, and maybe my brother will want to put a stall in it <clears throat> down the road.
but he's a driver. He's going to drive this thing. He's not going to drag it, nothing like that. He just wants a cool truck. So I told him the stock stall with this tiny turbine housing will uh, spool pretty quick, even under the stall, and it'll just be a fun truck. So still got the stock 10 bolt in the back, and the fuse will probably just be the tires. You know, if, uh, if he gets any real traction, it should shatter that 10 bolt. But... I don't know that that's gonna be a real concern at this point. We'll deal with that down the road. But I just think these motors are light years ahead of what came out of it. It had a TBI 350 in it with a, a 4L60, an early 4L60. So, but anyway, that's our project. Lots of fun, comment, ask questions. But these uh, headers worked really well. But they, uh, one thing I thought we were gonna be able to do, I thought it's gonna be able to keep the uh, AC down here but the, the swap motor mounts completely take that chance out. And not only that, but this on the uh, later model cars, the, the frame drops down square and goes under, where on these they're really rounded. So there's just no room, AC's gone. We gotta get creative on that one. I don't know how that's gonna fly. So, but anyway, when it comes down to a turbo or air conditioning, the turbo wins every time. So, but anyway, that's my project guys. I think it's gonna be awesome. Inside's a really clean truck. Guy like made, I think he handmade that. Like, it's like a wood shop project when you're back in high school, dude. It's like beautiful. And then you got the, of course, my favorite, the calculator radio, the Tandy 2000 right? calculator radio. This is the old switches, man, no airbags. Um, challenge will be integrating all this in to work the gauges, the speedometer, um, check engine light, getting all that. There's a lot to research to do, but it'll be fun. All right, guys, that's it.